Hey guys, welcome to Location Side. I'm Marcus, music producer, lighting director, and official MA trainer. This is MA Quick Tips. Grand MA3 version 2.2 is out with a tag editor. What it is and how you can improve your workflow with that, let's check it out. Let's show the tag pool window first. Um, go to pools, show data, tags. And for this example, I would like to create a color picker, but sometimes you can't add all the values into the sequences, so the off when overwritten function won't work. For example, I have the profiles only in red. Let's store it over here. And I have my profiles in washes in green. Let's store it over here and in blue, in magenta, and only the washes in this color here. So when I now click this sequence, and click this sequence, this is still going off because there are all the same values stored in. But not here because we are still missing our wash lights. This will work, this will work, and this won't work. But what is if I'm using tags to control this behavior in a better way? For this, I'm going to, uh, let's say, edit settings. For this, I'm going to do the off when overwritten function off. So this option is still now turned off for all my sequences. It's not working again. Let's off them. And let's use tags for this. So I'm going to have a tag called color picker row one. And I'm going to apply this tag to all of my sequences. So sequence seven through 11. Seven, 11, that's cool. How can we work with this in a quicker way? For this, I'm using the data pool item and let's go to sequences and apply the tag this to them. Now I can set this tag that it should switch off the sequences if I want them to. So let's have a tag type like kill delayed. And that means it will wait until the loaded sequence is fully loaded until the other sequences will be turned off. So if I click here or there or there, you can see I have now like a drum machine that we have a chop group. And this is kind of the same, which we're using here. And if I'm going to use fade times for all of them, so let's say um, time one, Q one, sequence 7 through 11. So we have now fade times. And it's still waiting until the sequence is fully loaded. This is because of the behavior kill delayed. I can go to kill instantly and now it's killed instantly but now I have white in between. This could be a cool effect if I want them to but if I don't want it then I turn this again to kill delayed. This is a possible action how we can use tags. We can use tags another way. For example, I would like to go several sequences at a time. Then let's do this tag type to none. And I can now go to my go plus and just hit this tag. And then you can see all of my sequences are now turned on. The same is for turning off sequences. For example, if you have a song with a time code and you would like to shut down all the sequences and the time code for a song, then just use a tag, click off to the tag, and now everything is turned off. So this is tags in a very short way. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. See you next time. Thanks for watching.